it's Myra with a little story time. When I was in my 20s, I started freelancing. Once I really established myself, I usually had a period of time where I was simultaneously wrapping up one contract and looking forward to the next. And in that pause between contracts, I often felt sad, a little bit of sorrow. It didn't matter if that window was a day, a week, or two weeks, there was some grief because something had ended and would never happen again or would never happen that same way again. What I didn't realize in my 20s was that that wasn't a pattern unique to being a freelancer. It wasn't even unique to me. This is something a lot of people experience, especially after putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into something, and then it's done finished, over, and will never happen again, or will never happen that same way again. Yes, we might have accomplished something significant. We might have something in hand to show for it. We might celebrate and be looking forward to, to what comes next. And still, there is that acute feeling of loss and a drop in adrenaline and motivation. So here are some things that I have found to be helpful. First, schedule recovery time. It could be a few hours, a day, a week, or more if you can afford to take that time off. But schedule time to refill your cup. Second, don't beat yourself up. Don't shit all over yourself thinking, I should be happy because dot, dot, dot. That's just going to increase your suffering and make it harder to recover. Instead, recognize what's happening and consider what your heart needs. Maybe scheduling that Recovery time is all you need. Maybe you need a little help, but get what you need. Next, celebrate and reward yourself. Do something and or give yourself something that is significant and meaningful to you in the moment. Finally, ask and answer that age old question. What's next? And I'll see you in nine days.